How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Nights in America. Alongside Joe Stapleton, I am Chris Hansen, and this week, bringing you action from the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. Let's take a look at the lineup tonight. The pride and joy of Florida, Jason Mercier is here. Rising star, Kate Hall, and America's sweetheart, Jennifer Tilly. Pretty solid lineup, I must say. You know, this is actually like Jason's home court. You know, home felt. Uh, well, they love him down here in Florida. I mean, I think. We think. We're not yeah, sure. I don't really. He lives here, but I don't. They may not have formulated an opinion. Ah, uh, it's our first day in paradise as we are at Seminole Hard Rock, just outside of Miami in Hollywood, Florida. And let's get going with the game. Buy-ins from five to 20,000 here tonight at Seminole Hard Rock on Poker Night in America. That soft feel or something. And it's Social Justice Warrior. <laughs> I thought that guy made that up just to write an article about you, but apparently oh, it's in yeah, the Urban no, Dictionary. It's a thing. I oh, never really? heard that before. Yeah, it's an, actual, it's an actual thing. He's not that clever. What? He's not that clever. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like the sound of that. Yeah, it has a ring to it. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimosabi Mescal. But he said, he said E. Tay and myself and Win Dean were also social justice warriors. Yeah, like we all have like together. Together. <laughs> You're all like, warriors. I, sure, I don't care about anybody but myself. I'm like, I wouldn't <laughs> consider, I wouldn't classify, classify myself as that. But. Did you see Sarah Jessica Parker said that she wasn't a feminist, but she believes in equality for women? No. Mm -mm. That's my favorite line. Yeah. Ite manages to outflop Mercier. Looks like he's going to take a stab with those sixes. Sorry, I shouldn't say stab. That's male phallic aggression. Back to Ite. Did she get a lot of flack for that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah she did. It's easy to get flashed. If you read that. the whole interview, she's like really sort of prevaricating. She's like, well, you know, I, I believe in equal treatment, and, you know, I, you know, I believe women should have rights, but you know, I'm not a feminist. Because, you know, people think it's a bad word. Yeah. You know, they think of like 1960s bra burners. They know that you're not supposed to say that you're a feminist. Right. And it's hard to put each hand, the one hand that has a beat. How about this one, though? Now, well, that's a little easier to figure that she might have an ace in her hand. 1,600 the bet from Esther Taylor. I think Jason gets away from this one now. Yeah, this would be a logical point to fold. The Merce dog. <laughs> <laughs> OK, there we go. Cards go in the middle. Taylor wins our first pot of the night here at Seminole Hard Rock. E.T. has more testosterone than anyone at the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always afraid to enter a hand with her. Whenever I look at Jason, I feel bad because I played the um, Poker Stars big game with him. I've and, seen um, that show. <laughs> I would feel bad for him, too. And I had Did you embarrass him on two? No, no, I embarrassed myself. I had a straight, and then um, Daniel Negreanu went all in, and I thought he had us a higher straight. And Hashem goes, Jennifer, I think you made a good fold. And Jason goes, I'm never folding the straight there. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I look at Jason, I'm like, there's the guy that will never fold the straight with Daniel Negreanu. <laughs> and he was right. Daniel was bluffing. <laughs> to be fair, Daniel doesn't bluff a lot. Daniel only played the hand to teach this. me a lesson. <laughs> what you don't remember is not a humiliating experience I'll for admit, you. I'll never, I will also never fold a straight to Daniel. <laughs> it was more, it was like, it, it was a $100,000 buy-in, and I'd never played that high before. Yeah. And I was betting the whole way, and then I value bet. I wanted him to cry and call on the river, and instead he went all in. And then I had to rethink the hand. But he was trying to teach me that I had not raised enough to get him out of the hand. So he was talking the whole, like all the way through the hand. You know how Daniel does? He was doing lessons. Yeah. Like, see, now look what happened. Now you're you're out of position. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. know I could easily have this. And that. So he was just, he was determined to win that battle. I got to watch this. But he had that Poker yeah. Stars money. He still does. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say, <laughs> but I was thinking of 
Like, he's still got that money. Yeah. So Riley hits his straight oh, on the that, turn. That, that, the oldest bet's 375. <laughs> I think it's time to probably raise for Riley. Let's get some more money in here. I didn't have another bullet. I didn't want to be that person that gets up and walks sadly away from the table. Goodbye, Newman. By the way, Wendine Eolas, the first woman to ever cash in the World Series of Poker Maine, the first to do it twice. What is this whole show for social justice warriors? Gah! Pretty cool, though. And she does have to fold here. But Wendine, definitely a legend in the game of poker, and we're happy to have her on Poker Night in America. Did you bet he raised you? He did. Was, I didn't want to see him nice. raise you either. I didn't want to see him raise me that way. Discipline fold from both Newberg and Eolis. And we're gonna have to make a discipline fold because it's time to go to break. So sorry. Here we are in the Kimosabi Mezcal Trusted Friends area, and I'm with a trusted friend, the founder of Poker Night in America, Todd Anderson. And it's been a, a nice ride, Todd. It's been an interesting ride, yeah. A couple years into this thing now, got about 150 episodes under our belt. 150 episodes? Yeah, we work hard. Poker Night in America is an attempt to make poker interesting and fun. The whole social aspect of poker, which we kind of feel is maybe being lost a little bit, we can handpick the cast. So instead of waiting for a final table where you don't know who you're gonna get, we can get you and we can get Phil Locke and we can get Jennifer Tillon. We can, we can handpick these people and guess what? You know, they come, they have a great time and that's, that's our mantra, have fun. So that's why Kimo Sabi is a really good fit for us because it's all about friendship and, and fellowship and being together and enjoying one's company and it fits perfectly. That was incredibly well said, Todd. To Poker Night in America and Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Thank you, my friend. Trusted friends. He goes like this. His eyes scrunch and then he goes like this. And then he folds. <laughs> I remember that face and one day I'll see it again. Welcome back to Poker Night in America at Seminole Hard Rock. Poker, 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 po- Oh, I thought- Oh, King 10, not good enough to get started. Tight is right. Okay, this is my chat. <laughs> I got to look at my cards no and I'm gonna play. There's no straddle. What? Oh, there's no straddle. <laughs> Wait, you missed so much. What? I was like- <laughs> Uh, he's pretending I would, like I would have moved in with this hand. Right, you would have? No, I thought, right. the, I thought there was a straddle. Yeah. This came after Esther with 6X. You don't That's pay it. very much attention to the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's I hard to defend. You still haven't looked? No, I have not looked. It's like the guys that do that in tournaments and they just 5X. They just like, they ruined me with that. I feel like I should I'm just sitting there like, nothing I can do. <laughs> I call. Oh man, how bad is Jen Tilly running today? This is gonna be harder to watch than any of the Chucky movies when you're not on an airplane. Two pair versus a set and she is drawing deed. Daisy, daisy. And raising, wonderful. Oh no. I bet Jason can literally not believe this. Jason's just deciding whether or not he wants to put in another raise. And with a board texture like this, he could very easily think Jen could get it in on a draw. And he does go with the raise. He raises it to 82.50. So that's just over 5,000 for Jen to call. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, yikes. Jennifer. We're all hoping you get away from this. We like you. Give me the inner dialogue of Jennifer Tilly right now. Let's see, if I call this hand and I lose, I'm gonna need the next Chucky movie to make more money than all the rest combined. So like, a million dollars. I was thinking more like, could he have really done it to me again? Did he flop a set against my two oh, pairs? Oh, no, no, no. That's what I'm... It's all Chucky related. Oh, okay, good. I don't do analysis. Got it, okay, so she does call. She's oh. probably actually thinking, there's no way he's got me beat this time. Is it in the pot? Mm -hmm. Is there? No. It could be, uh, He didn't no. really, no, he didn't, he couldn't. On. 
Why did I raise? <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> well, I can't imagine you doing that with like just pocket aces or pocket kings. See, the inner dialogue isn't always about Chucky movies, Stapes. <laughs> It's my inner dialogue. Uh, I can't imagine you bluffing. Why do I even play poker? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, did somebody get this round? Did you guys get a drink? I said I would. Oh, wow, she has another one already? Yeah, I'll pay it. Of course. I ordered another round, I think, for everybody. Unless you flopped a straight. I don't think she needs any more Zinfandel. She hasn't been powering it. Are you good? Right. <laughs> the Zinfandel case has been. <laughs> Only thing I could put you on that beats me is a set of jacks. I'd like to be calling Miss Cleo to have them put some sort of hex on our show if I was her. <laughs> and she keeps coming back. Should they call? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she said I call. Yep. Jen names like 10 hands that beat her and then finally decides to see which one. Oh, oh, that look says it all. You beat me, of course, obviously. <laughs> I'm just coming to trying to come to terms with the fact that I am not the poker god's favorite. How could I not be the poker <laughs> god's favorite? And then I'm trying to come to terms with the fact that I'm not going to win that $1,000 from Vanessa. Because now you have like $50 million in front of you. I'm never going to felt you. Luck is a thing that runs out. And um, <laughs> he's not familiar with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you had more. More than your share of luck in the last two hours. I've had less than two your hours. Share. We could try like six years. But... <laughs> six, just six. I'm Before that, you're actually a good player. You enter. Now it's all luck. You're what? I'm entering every hound that you enter. Uh oh. Goodbye, Jennifer Tilly. <laughs> Hello, Jennifer Tilty. Has war been declared? I make it uh, one thousand. Mercer makes it 350 with King 10. Tilly makes it 1,000. Be one of those days. With Ace 7 of Spades. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I'm kind of cheering for Jen. Jay, good call. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, we all are. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to cheer for really Jason. Know. He's just really good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Don't give her anything. Please, don't give her anything of a semblance of hope. Jen flops nearly dead. Check. And they're checking it down. Here's the river. Okay, Jen has absolutely no piece of this. There should be no way she loses money here. Uh, are you pretending like you hit that six? Jennifer, it's not called pretending. It's called bluffing. When you're on set, you're not I pretending to be married to a psychopathic doll. He check the flop, slow playing his king ten, perhaps. Check the turn. My, my hand might not even be the best hand. <laughs> you, you think? <laughs> Just fold. Jennifer, there you go, thank you. And stay down this time. <laughs> Jason wondering how he played that wrong. He didn't get everything. Tilly manages to lose the minimum, which is certainly a step in the right direction, huh? Isn't that just a step not in the wrong direction? Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. It's time to get back to the poker. Straddle what the hell? Somebody's gonna remind me. I'll remind you. All if right. you want to straddle, I'll yeah, you I do. Just remind me. Is that you just called? No, I, 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 I made it 150. You raised? All right, yeah. I called. Gotta get the straddle out before the dealing's done, Tim Riley. You look what happens, you forget to straddle, it makes it affordable for everybody. <laughs> we all come in like it's some dysfunctional family picnic. This family pot's just like my real family, except no one has their shirt off at my baseball game. Moms can be so embarrassing. Flop is seven, do six. So Tilly's got the open-ended straight draw. When Dean Eolas is ahead with a pair of sixes, but she folds to the bet from Riley, who's got an air ball, 10 high at the moment. And there's the straight for Jennifer Tilly. So Jen Tilly finally has a winner, and her opponent has 10 high. 
But he does have a propensity to bluff. Nine. So she might get some more money here. Well, Jen's finally got the opportunity to value raise if she wants. She opts to just call. River is a nine, so that does give Riley a pair. That might help Jennifer out here. Yeah, looks like Tim thinks he can value bet his nines. Bet's another thousand. Even though it went runner, runner, diamond, I think we are in slam dunk value raise territory now for Jen. She raises to 3,000. Maybe her image of being absolutely detested by the poker oh, gods will get her paid off here. I'm thinking no, though. Her straight is well disguised, like Richard Simmons. Yeah, where is he? Have you been following that story? Weird. He calls. Good job, Jen. Finally wins a pot. Nice hand. Thank you. Tim, where are you from? Uh, from Boston. Boston? Yep. That's where Phil is near that. He's from Waltham, Massachusetts. Yep. We're going there in two weeks. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful up there. Yeah, it's yeah, great. It really is gorgeous yeah. up there. I'm doing I know, I know Walt in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about 15, 10, 15 minutes happen. from Boston. That's where the Celtics, the Celtics Walt play in Waltham. Oh, yeah, there's a, they there's practice a there. <laughs> <laughs> true, true legends. So we had a straddle, a raise from Timmy. Timmy Super Sox fan, Riley. Hauls in. What do you have, Kings? Over to Esther. No, I do not have Kings. No, she I in. Kings. <laughs> oh, what about you? Flops <laughs> nine, three, queen. <laughs> Checks round to Kate, and she is going to bet her nines. You do red black. Red, red black, black for a thousand. No, I have to get it back through sheer skill. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Call from Esther. I don't want to get it back from the person that I gave it to. And now to Riley. Riley! Top pair, pretty good kicker. Much like the phrase virtue signaling, he is going nowhere. Hurry and make back more money before it gets to the end of day one. Because you know they put the end of the day hang up on. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. They go. Let's ask him not to do it this time. And then and they always do a really jolly like Chris Hansen goes. And the big loser this week was. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go come back next episode where Jennifer digs herself a even deeper hole. <laughs> we can even provide the shovel. They could like blur out my total, like how you blur out the faces of people <laughs> <laughs> to protect them. And Jennifer lost an undisclosed number. But Jason is mysteriously up 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where it came from, but. <laughs> Riley raises to 3,200, oh boy. Tim Riley looks as if Ryan Gosling liked poker more than being Ryan Gosling. Did he suddenly North remember North. somewhere he has to go? <laughs> he's, he just told me he's really tired. He texted me, so I'm so tired. You I mean, are not leaving this table, you Jason you want, you don't want Chino coming in? <laughs> you rather have me? Wow, wow, what a fold. I did not see that coming. It looks like Tim Riley can't believe it just happened either. Go a 10. Oh, oh what are you doing? God. Jack 10, 100%. Kate just got a whiff of what an absurdly tight fold she just made. Oh, my. All right, kids, that's where we're going to stop for the night. Seat four, Jason Mercier up $38,000. And look at that. Jennifer Tilly right next to him down about $30,000, about the same. Club. My dream one day is to win a pot off of Jason 
by bluffing. Have you seen the face there? I was worried I wasn't talking to Colin. They were so mad at me for that. And I want to see him make this face, that face that he made early <laughs> on. He goes like this, this ice crunch, and then he goes like this, and then he folds. <laughs> I remember that face, and one day I'll see it again. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Stapes, I think it is time that we take a break from the poker and we focus on the people. Power to the people, my friend. Time to have the longest conversation with E.T. that I have ever had, except for that one time I was stuck in an elevator with her for nearly 10 seconds. Well, maybe you could tell us a story and you could be our next interviewee, huh? What uh, do you say? Mm, nah, I'm gonna, I mean, I gotta talk to my lawyers about that one. All right, well, in uh, any case, it is time for part one with our in-depth interview with one of our favorites on Poker Night in America. We are Face Up with Esther Taylor. My dad's like my number one hero. Uh, he's, he doesn't play poker, has no clue, but um, the, the way that I am is obviously attributed to him. He's just very positive, looks, <laughs> looks on the bright side of things, just, you know, just like I am or like I try to be. Other than that, uh, I think, <laughs> I could keep going back to Mercy, but he said to me, he called me on the river a huge bet with like, you know, whatever, he was right. And he's like, he kind of said to me like, you know, don't don't be upset. And I was like, I would never be upset because you made a good play. I can always respect if, if I see somebody who has talent and who not just like, okay, you know, I have aces, whatever, but like has talent and, and plays a hand well, then I will automatically have respect for you. So there's, I can name a hundred poker players that I truly think are pretty up there. Poker has always been fun for me. And I know like it's, I've heard a lot of professionals say like, you know, they've kind of lost the, the fun aspect of it and it's kind of all business. And I've always enjoyed playing. I don't see that really ever going away for me. And especially cause I, I just don't take things too seriously, you know? For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or you can hook up with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. Thanks for watching Poker Night in America. And then they go, come back next episode where Jennifer digs herself an even deeper hole. <laughs> we can even provide the shovel. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal.